Hi, my name's Neo, and you're tuned in for another edition of Anything Airbrush. Tonight, I am painting a little on the bigger side than I normally do. Um, in fact, actually, quite a considerable amount bigger than I normally do. Uh, it's only just fit in my on my paint stand, so um, it's monochrome again. I'm going to be using sepia though this time instead of black and black and grey. Um, it's actually an old uh, plasterboard ceiling uh, tile, so uh, but it's a bit big. So I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to uh, paint something on that. It's uh, a herd of elephants. All three elephants, anyway, uh, walking on some sort of desert. I found the picture on Google Images. I uh, thought I'd like to paint it, so uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's for an exhibition coming up as well, so I've got um, an evening exhibition coming up on March the 22nd. So put it in your calendar. Uh, March the 22nd uh, at Dylan's Brewery here in Coventry. And uh, if you can make it, it'd be awesome if you could. So, with that said, without me waffling on anymore, I'm going to uh, crack on with it. Uh, I'll do you a quick photo of what it is, where I am, and then uh, I'm going to put you in time lapse. Um, please feel free if you need to know anything, any comments, please, questions, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll try and do my best to answer them. I'm not a professional. Um, by no stretch of the imagination, but um, but yeah, I try my best. So yeah, give us a shout. Let us know what you think. Um, and it would be absolutely awesome if you could uh, subscribe as well. Brilliant. All right. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack and paint in. So here we go. <sighs>
what I'm going to do is I put you on real time just to uh, paint the uh, paint the whites of the tusks. As you can see, it is it is really quite a large piece. So I mean, that's me airbrush. So yeah, it's 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 pretty big. Um, so yeah, but I just thought I'd uh, put you on a little bit of uh, normal. So just to uh, show you um, what I do and how I do it. So the white, uh, all my paints I tend to reduce 50-50, uh, so I tend to, um, but it's a bit of a suck it and see scenario. I, I sort of bosh some paint in, put the reducer um, and see how it flows. If it's flowing a little bit too runny or a bit too thin, then I'll add a bit more paint. Um, and conversely, if it's not spraying too well, then what I'll do is I will then try and add a bit more reducer and uh, work it that way. So, um, I ain't in the way, I'm just making sure my shoulder's not in the way. So, so. And again, it's all done with my uh, Badger. 105e, so uh, like I say, I just thought I'd uh, instead of completely time lapse and everything I do, I just get to the you know, somewhat little can be a little bit annoying. So yeah, that looks makes them a bit more. Stands in that a bit more. So, what I've done is as well, just because uh, I've cleaned my airbrush out a little, not completely gone to town on it. So, I've mostly got a little bit of uh, remnants of the sepia still in the paint cup, um, which will obviously flatten down the white a little bit. Sorry, my shoulders are in the back, so all right, let's try and move you a little bit. Let's see, oh, this is what you get for having a really big picture in a really small shed. So, all right, I'm not particularly most adequate of lighting. There you go, that's okay. See, this is a little, little on the runny side, but I'm only doing a few highlights, so I'm not really that overly concerned as such. Once it's dry, it'll be fine. So. Um, and also, if anybody's interested in what paint I use, obviously, it is, sorry, it is, uh, there you go, Inspire H2O. It's backwards, obviously, it's my camera, but yeah, it's by paints. They do do a solvent range, but I don't use solvents. So I haven't got any good ventilation. So I just uh, did it with normal. Based. So, so there we go, you can see a few little white highlights, well, make the tusks white, it just gives it a little bit more um, clarity and depth, I suppose. Obviously, still got to finish this elephant off, and pretty much, I mean, I've got these. 95% done, but um, I just got to clean the edges and, and do you know do a few of the bits and bobs just to uh, just to finalise it. But this big boy, pretty much done. So yeah, so far pretty proud of it. It's a big piece, but it will uh, once done, it will look pretty good on anybody's wall. 
whose wall it will be, I don't know because it's not mine, but I have a space for something like this in my house. But yeah. So anyway, there you go. Just a quick little um just a quick little normal time just to show you what I do. So uh, let's swing you around. So there we go. Okay. Hopefully that's a bit more uh, enjoyable than that. So, and I shall carry this on on another night and also film it. So, uh, for now, peace out, and I'll uh, catch us on the other side. See you in a bit. Bye bye.